Hi guys, uh, today, well right now I'm going to be showing you how to actually um, remove and insert an email address on your LinkedIn profile. Okay, a lot of clients and candidates have come through to us stating that they are unable or they are unable to either um, change their email address, they don't know how to change the email address, or in most cases um, what's happened is Candidates and clients have actually gone to create an entire brand new profile because they do not want the email address that's associated to that specific profile. In some cases, you could be working for an organization uh, that has um, that you have now left or that has changed your email details, etc. And you need now to update your details. Um, we're going to be showing you how to have this done. Especially in most cases, a lot of people would like to have their personal email addresses include and not their company email addresses um, and this is also the reason um, that we like to show you how to have this done a reason being is that if you've left an organization and linkedin then sends you notifications or security verifications etc it's going to be sent to the primary email address that you used to create your profile that being the company's email address or the organization's email address etc so it's very important that you need to have access to the email address at all times in order to receive your notifications your updates your verifications etc it would also be very wise that when you are creating your linkedin profile to use your personal email address rather than using your company email address because you might not be there for the rest of your life um, you might change organizations etc so rather use a personal account and not the company's account okay with that being said if you are if you would like to have your your email address changed on your LinkedIn profile. If you have a look at my cursor at the moment, it's on the icon. It usually will show your picture, your photo. You click on the drop down button there. You will then have um, a, a variety of listings that will appear. You're going to be you're going to be focusing on the account, so we need to change our account settings and privacy. So under account, you'll click on settings and privacy. It will bring you to another window um, that will reflect. Um, or your account details, okay, or the way you can manage your account information. Okay, you'd have your account details, privacy, settings, ads, and communications, etc. Today, we're going to be focusing on account preferences, so we're going to be going on to account, and we'll give you the option of your login and security details. The first option that you have available to you is email addresses, okay. You can have one, more than one email address associated to your, to your LinkedIn profile, uh, in this case, we want to make our primary email, the email address that we get our notifications on, make that our personal email address, okay? So when you click on your email address, we'll give you the list of email addresses that are associated to your LinkedIn profile. In most cases, it is, it's just one, excuse me, which would be the primary email. And on there, that is the email address that receives all notifications. Okay, if you have a look at the bottom of uh, below all the email addresses, you'll get an add email address tab that you can then click on. In this in this field, you're going to be in, inserting the email address that you want to receive your notifications on, or that should be the primary email address. So if it's your Gmail, your Yahoo, your etc., you're going to insert your personal email address into that space bar. Okay, once you have done so. It will then highlight the send verification option. You're going to click on send verification. It is then going to send you a verification code to that email address that you've just inserted there. Okay. When you when LinkedIn sends you that verification code to your to your email address, you will then follow the steps on that email that will then allow you to have that email address inserted on LinkedIn. Once all the steps have been followed. The email address will automatically be updated on LinkedIn and you'll be able to view that email address under your list of email addresses. Once you have done that, you can then make that email address your primary email address and remove the email address that is currently primary. So before you can go and remove the primary address, make the next make your primary address the one that you want, being your personal email address, and then it will give you the option to remove the company email address on there okay as i said previously there is no need to create an entire brand new profile just to update an email address you have the option of changing your email address it's simple it's on your linkedin options under your account management or under your account settings your privacy settings go on to there have a changed 
to, uh, in that manner rather than creating an entire profile um, for you and having a duplicate profile on file. Because bearing in mind, it's very hard for recruiters and colleagues to find you on LinkedIn if you have a duplicate profile. Okay, um, the other option that you also have available, what we're going to be teaching you next on this video is that if you have a duplicate profile where you've got two profiles or three profiles on LinkedIn, um, you have the option of merging these profiles to make one. Okay, it's not very wise to have more than one profile. As I said, reason being, when you are searched for on LinkedIn, it's very difficult um, to filter who, you, which is the valid one, which is not updated, etc. So rather, have the profiles merged to create one profile for you. And the way in which you can have this done is if you scroll down on the same page, if you scroll down to the bottom of your screen, you will come up with an option where it says account management. And under account management, it gives you an option to merge your LinkedIn accounts. If you click on that option, it will then give you details on how to merge your accounts. It will pick up that you have more than one or it will request for information. The, it might request for the email address that you used. It says enter the email address of the duplicate account. You will then enter the email address, etc. And you will submit the request to have the profiles merged. Okay, that's if you have more than one account. Okay, closing your LinkedIn account as well. You have that option if you have a look here. If you've got three, four, five accounts all using different Gmail or email addresses, you can go and have those accounts closed. So either merge one at a time, merge two at a time. Once you've done all the merging and all the information is up to date, then you can go and close the account if the account doesn't automatically close them. It's on very most cases it does. Once you've merged an account, that account is no longer available. They've merged into one. Okay. If you do not want to have an account at all, then you're going to cl click on your closing your LinkedIn account option and will take you through the various steps as well that you need to follow to have your account closed. Okay. Um, as I said previously, it's better that you merge. Do not just close the account, rather have it merged. So any vital information that you had on one profile will always be transferred onto the next, whether it be your connections. In some cases, you might have more connections on the one profile than the other. If it will be your recommendations, in some cases, you might have recommendations on your one profile and not the other. Whatever the case may be, um, once you've merged those accounts, your recommendations, your connections, everything will come, will, will, be, will be joined and um, you won't lose out on any information. Okay, so that's a very good, uh, wise decision to make. Do not just go ahead and create a brand new profile because you feel your profile needs to be updated, update your existing profile. Um, LinkedIn gives you the option of updating your profile at any time. So whenever you feel you have details or information that needs to be updated on LinkedIn, you can go in there and change it as the need be. There's no need to create a brand new profile. Um, in some case, if you feel that your LinkedIn profile, the entire profile needs to be revamped, you can remove all the information, delete all the information, and actually start from scratch, inserting the information from the beginning as well. Um, LinkedIn does not restrict you from updating your information. And so that is also an option. Uh, try not to have duplicate profiles. Um, it's not something kosher to have, especially when it comes to people, as I said, searching for you on LinkedIn. Um, it's wise just to have one profile. It will be easier for, for a search to be done on you as well. Um, one, and when you do have one profile, you concentrate on your one profile. Make sure that that profile is an all-star profile. It will be recognized by recruiters. Um, you've got all your information on that profile that's relevant um, and when you're applying or submitting your, your your cv or your mails or applications through linkedin to your specific recruiters or uh, as your online applications your information needs to be updated on that profile the reason being is a recruiter or a company is not going to go and look for your other profiles they will just be focused on the one profile from which you are sending your application or your email or, or from which they are liaising with you on. Especially when you're mailing your, your LinkedIn connections or your LinkedIn recruiters, they focus on the profile you're mailing them from. They're not going to go and look at whether you've got two or three other profiles as well. They're focused on the profile you're mailing them from. So, guys, once again, please update your existing profiles. Do not create duplicate profiles. If you feel you need to have anything changed, all changes can be made on LinkedIn, whether it be to your email, your password, your telephone numbers, contact details, whatever the case may be, 
do not feel that you need to go and create an entire brand new profile just to have information updated. There's no need for that. Okay, guys, please um, comment. Uh, you can place your comments um, below. Um, if you need any further assistance or any information that we have not mentioned that you feel that we could assist you with, you're more than welcome to, welcome to send us an email. Visit our website um, or um, you can always, always subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have various videos that are going to be uploaded. We will be sending through more information and more videos with regards to your LinkedIn and how it can assist you by finding employment and finding placement, etc. Um, so in the few days to come, there will be various videos that are going to be uploaded. So please subscribe to this channel. It is a very helpful channel. Um, we ensure that you will find suitable employment if you follow the steps in our videos that we provide to you. Uh, we are here to help all candidates and clients finding employment and we try our best in our videos to give you as much information as possible to help you find that dream job or to help you find placement. South Africa, in South Africa, um, employment rates have been the highest since 2008, so it is quite a depressing time, almost 30% unemployment rate at the moment. So, guys, if you are willing to share the information as well with people and, and family, friends that you know also are desperately in search of, of jobs at the moment, please forward them this information. It's very helpful for them, our channel, our subscriber link, or share the videos, share our subscriber link with them. Let them also uh, gain from the information that we provide to you. So guys, as I asked you once again, please subscribe to our link it's in the right hand corner of the screen and um, tune in for more videos to come in the next few days. Thanks. Enjoy the rest of your day.